Okay, I think I also fixed the audio, so last edition's not gonna have any sound for you guys, and I'm sorry. But now you can probably fully hear exactly how much pain this guy's in. <laughs> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy, what with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Nothing. My lord? Shh! Listen. No, don't listen. There was nothing there. Don't play me, please. There. Fuck. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. God. We've wasted enough time already. Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. That's a lot of generations. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. It's not gonna be you. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. It's certainly not gonna be that guy. the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. 
It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. He's right. I've a family to feed. There are no two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Stop hitting Leave him. the poor man alone. Let's go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. Stop <coughs> you address him. him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Tattoos and the guy who kicks people all the time. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. If that's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice, but it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. 
as Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I guess I should go talk to the douche. Not the douche. Who's this? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Who the fuck are you? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. No. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. Really? He'd be a fine choice. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I'm doing important royal business, sister. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. It will not. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Back to the team. Look at game, stop it. Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power. 
especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Ryland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. May sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Whomever's not chosen should it's feel no I shame. Not, did not mean to push that button. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This... this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. But... Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scout says only a day's ride from here. With no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. Deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must, Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of, kind of bickering? Neither will I. Amen. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the, but the rest of our soldiers are not. But we need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. They understand. Gentlemen, please. Listen to the lady. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Which they won't be. I trust Mira's judgment. 
I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. Plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their, exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. I Enough! With that. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I, don't want to give away I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reach a reasonable agreement. Agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will still respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. The... Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. But he wants to be you treated You meet like him one. at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when, he en and when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Allowed it. Lord Ethan? I feel gonna make him angry. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? Shut up. That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given, has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot, cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. Think I. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare have to prepare the house. Why are we skipping now? My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. I won't. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is... volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. This is a good thing. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Do we? You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. 
His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. I'm sorry, Mother, but I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will not go to Essos. That is the final word, but do you hear me? I hear you, but this is a mistake. I wish you trusted me with this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. You never stand alone. We are a forest. We are a giant walking forest. Apparently made of iron. Which is apparently more precious than actual iron. No one seems to care about that. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Is King Joffrey, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. actually gonna help. 
Milady. Oh God, it's creepy cool boy. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Do what? Cold boy. People who'd be willing to help you. Where's Sir Roiland? He should uh, be here. Apparently protesting. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough we've enough strength of our own. I'm not. Your men stand ready to act if needed. I hope so. You made the right decision, my lord. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Thanks. Hold on. Something is causing the internet to go crazy. And I would like to be able to make correct decisions with Ramsey Snow in the room. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Uh, that's why. Is he? Uh, may I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Uh, son, son of Roose Bolton. Although bastard. a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you, of Thank you, lad. The... That's enough. Blood. <laughs> Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. God, you're crazy. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Oh, Jesus. It's okay, tiny child. You all need. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, please. Oh, God. The Lord wishes to speak with you. Ugh, this lag is gonna kill me. Vast. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. M ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here. 
Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Of course you don't, because you're crazy. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. Little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. God, I can't please these people. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Please don't say it involves slaying. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. Fuck. What? What? The Ironwood. But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next 50 generations. The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood. And we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within <gasps> your walls. At Ironrath, that we can Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Of course not. <laughs> You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Is he just as bad as you? Fatter? We'll lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do Jesus. make this visit worthwhile. Why? Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little I'm... forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Yep. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You no. come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Look. Do you like hunting? Oh. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, what have you done? But I don't want the brave lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better. He's what have you done? 
However, on, the foresters on. need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the body of your wolf. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Lovely meeting, all of you. God, you're have to crazy do it again luck. sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the face so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Stop! Don't let it go! Stop that! Stop it! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Do something! Ethan? My son. Well. Oh my god. What did I expect with Game of Thrones? Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? This is an intense game. Make decisions. <sighs> You and 52% left bone behind. Okay, everybody else apparently listened to Marjorie's instructions and didn't piss off Cersei. Fine, whatever. I like pissing off Cersei. It's what I live for. Sent Eric to the wall. Yeah, no one wants that crazy guy who beats people. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And now I guess we have to wait for the next one. Like everybody else who plays The Walking Dead. Ugh. Except The Walking Dead is over and it broke my heart. Okay. Well, this was fun. <laughs>